Hey guys, here's a new Blender tip for working with booleans that leads to n-gons, but I will show you how to use the subdivision surface modifier in this case anyway. This is Blender 3, first I have to delete the default cube this time, sorry mate, and then I press Shift and A to add a cylinder. I duplicate this object by pressing Shift and D, then I press S followed by Z to scale it along the Z-axis, and then S again to scale down the whole object. I will add a boolean modifier now for the outer object, here in the modifier stack, and for the object property I use the inner cylinder. The boolean operation is set to difference. Ok, so I apply the boolean, then delete the cutter, this one, and I did this to create a cylindrical mesh that has n-gons because when you are working with booleans you end up with n-gons. And this leads to problems when you want to use the subdivision surface modifier for your mesh. Alright, now go ahead and add some details, add a bevel to this edge here. Then I insert some supporting edge loops, before I will add a subdivision surface modifier to make the mesh look more crisp. That's nice, now turn to object mode and set the shading to smooth. Ok, but you will see when I add now a subdivision surface modifier, that it can't handle the angons of the mesh. So I remove the modifier and I will show you how to get rid of the angons. I want to go for quads, ok, I want to get rid of these faces. So I press A to select all. And then I press F3 and search for triangulate faces. The shortcut by the way is Ctrl T. Ok, but we wanted to have quads, so I search for trees to quads. The keyboard shortcut is Alt and J. And then we have quads. Very nice, it works for simple meshes like this one, but it is not a general solution. Alright, now let's add the subdivision surface modifier again and you see this works without any artifacts. I add another support loop for this edge and now this looks pretty crisp. But I add one more for this edge. But if you like you can also go ahead and increase the subdivision level. Ok, it looks good, even better with a different matte cap. And this mesh can be extended now, you can add more edge loops and it will render nicely. You see, we can scale these edge loops here, you get the idea. So guys, I hope you find these tips interesting. If you do, then let me know by adding a comment. At the moment I'm working on new features for JMesh tools, you find this here on the Blender Market, the link is added to the description below. It is still free, but when you get it from the Blender Market, you also support the development and the Blender Dev Fund. So guys, stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook, support me by being my patron or join as a channel member. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, just add these to the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on JNM.